He has played virtually every club that has an ASCAP or BMI license. He just recently performed with the Pasadena Pops under the baton of Michael Feinstein. His show that is highly acclaimed is called Croon. Need I say more? Please welcome Todd Murray. A little closer Like it used to be I need someone warm inside my arms So please don't whirl away from me Dance a little closer We don't need to speak I just want to feel and softly hear you breathing on my cheek While the music's playing Can't we just pretend This is not a song for just a moment But a song without an end Dance a little closer Till the morning light I don't want to feel alone Just pretend This is not a song For just a moment But a song without an end Dance a little closer Till the morning light I don't want to feel alone Thank you. Todd, Todd. Yes. Listen. What are you doing I've here? said it before, but if I could sing like that, I would. It's so beautiful that, but I don't, Thank I know you, you're, I'm, I don't want to interrupt, but. Well, this wasn't rehearsed. This is not rehearsed. <laughs> See, look at the actual surprise. I am so happy to tell you that we have another wonderful award tonight, and it's going to be given to you. It's the. Margaret Whiting Award, and will you please welcome her daughter, Debbie Whiting. You look beautiful. What, what would you like to say? You must say something. A few words. Good evening, everybody. My mother was once asked why she thought people liked her singing. She replied, if I'm any good at all as a singer, a lot of it is due to something my father once taught me. Her father, my grandfather, Richard Whiting, the composer, always taught her from a young age. Margaret, you have a good voice, and you certainly know how to sing. We, the composers, spend years in perfecting our craft. I hate to think of it as a craft, but that's what it is. It, it's a job. It's work. And it's the work that I love doing. Margaret, you must sing songs with great affection. 
and feeling. It takes those who write a lyric a lot of hard work also and takes them a long time. So just believe in their words, do them simply and honestly. That's how a singer should interpret a song. Todd Murray, that's exactly what you do. <laughs> and that's the formula you apply to your craft. So tonight, my company, My Ideal Music, and along with the Mabel Mercer Foundation, we're so very honored to present you the Margaret Whiting Award for 2016. <laughs> I think they're both crying. So let me just, I want to read these. Our friend John Fricke writes these beautiful uh, encapsulations of the awards. This is the Margaret Whiting Award presented to Todd Murray with genuine delight in his remarkable and ongoing musical success, a series of triumphs firmly founded on his exceptional vocal and communicative abilities. With appreciation for the professional dedication to both style and savvy that makes his work immediately expressive, true, and compelling. And whose capacity to engage, entertain, and enrapture audiences as performer, documentarian, and entrepreneur evoke the versatility and memory of the entertainer cited herein. We'll keep that backstage for you. Thank you. Please okay. do. Don't leave without it. You gotta get that in the cab. Debbie, I saw you the last two nights and you didn't say anything. It was a big surprise and we <laughs> did it. So we're gonna leave you now that you're emotionally shattered to, <laughs> to sing another number. Todd Murray. Oh man. No one wants to see a six foot two man ball up here. <laughs> That's, I, she, I could not get a better uh, award. I loved Margaret. I used to, we became friends at the Cabaret Symposium out at the O'Neill Center, um, I don't know, like 15 years ago. And I used to call her from my car and I would say, darling, listen to what's playing. And, and it was probably, um, um, it might as well be spring. And she said, you have such good taste. <laughs> I loved her. Thank you so much, Debbie, for that award. Um, I've been in New York a lot. I don't live here full time, but I've been here uh, a lot over the last year because I've been working on a um, show with someone you probably know named Stacy Sullivan. Yeah. Yes, she's worthy of uh, applause. She's just amazing. And we've been working on the show for literally over a year. We just opened it a couple weeks ago at 54 Below, below called Separate Ways. And thank you. Thank you, Stacy. <laughs> Um, but, you know, Stacy and I spent hours and hours and hours talking about relationships and bottles and bottles of Pinot Grigio. <laughs> and we discussed what was universal in re relationships. Is it just the romance or is it the stuff in between? And I also watched her and Jeff over the last year marry off their, their son, Sullivan. And, uh, and then a few months later, their daughter Savannah is engaged, and I'm looking at Stacy as like, are you okay? And she's like, please. She's like, you know, making bows and pasting them on the invite and doing callig calligraphy. And I said, it's just so wild that you bring these, these beings into the world who are completely dependent on you, and then you spend your whole time making them not need you at all. And she said, that's called parenting. And I said, uh, she looked at me and she said, Todd, have you thought about having kids? And I said, Stacy, when I leave the house and turn around and my dog has that sad face, I have to take a Xanax to get through the day. <laughs> I'm like, I can't imagine a human being going, Daddy, don't go. I'd be a, a drug addict. <laughs> but uh, then Stacy looked at me with the sincerity that only she can do and said, Todd, it is the hardest job you'll ever love. Isn't that beautiful? Is this the little girl I carried? Is 
this the little boy at play I don't remember growing older when did they when did she get to be a beauty when did he grow to be so tall wasn't it yesterday when they were small? Sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset, swiftly blow the days. Seedlings turn overnight to sunflowers blossoming even as we gaze sunrise sunset sunrise sunset swiftly fly the years one season following another laden with happiness and tears what words of wisdom can I give them? How can I help them on their way? And now they must learn from one another day by day. Sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset, Swiftly blow the days Seedlings turn overnight to sunflowers Blossoming even as we gaze Sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset Swiftly fly the years One season following Laden with happiness and tears One season following another Laden with happiness and tears Thank you. Todd Murray. Alex Rybeck. Dan Gross. You know what? We're there.